We're excited to have master photographer Peter Lick joining the Weather Channel team as a special contributor. He goes out and shoots these incredible landscapes all over America that really capture nature and weather. His first assignment for us, Red Rock Canyon. G'day, I'm Peter Lick with a roaring look at America. I'm out here at Red Rock Canyon, it's just mind blowing. It's a showcase of awe-inspiring red rock formations and dramatic sandstone peaks, sculptured by wind, rain, and a complex geologic history. Crazy to think about it, but 600 million years ago, this area was at the bottom of an ocean. Red Rock Canyon is the northeastern part of the Mojave Desert, only about 17 miles from the famous Las Vegas Strip. It's one of the best kept secrets in Sin City. Out in the desert here, you only get about four inches of rain a year. But late December, I had a huge snowfall out in the middle of the canyon here. And I got one of the gallery shots right through there. I mean, just imagine these Joshua trees covered with snow. It was just unbelievable. These vivid red rocks behind me here are called Aztec sandstone. And the later the sun drops, the better the vibrant colours will be. So I've set up on a vantage point here, got some beautiful clouds coming across here this afternoon, and at every minute, everything changes out here. Just want to get a little bit lower down here and get as much of the foreground in this shot as possible. I'm shooting with a really wide angle lens here, and it's just dragging it all into the camera. It's just magic. 12 hours for a millisecond, but it's all worth it because when you get the right location and the right light, you can get that perfect shot. Red Rock, what an amazing place, right? And spectacular shot. And Peter joins us now from his gallery in Caesars Palace. Peter, great to have you aboard here at the Weather Channel. What do you think makes that shot so special that's behind you? Steph, I shot this 15 minutes from the strip and it's just these amazing clouds that came over in the afternoon. It was a late summer storm and the late afternoon lighting just cast these beautiful shadows right across the valley. You see these clouds up here, they sort of casted all their colours down here and I wanted to have that sort of a painterly feel about the shot. And a lot of people that take photography, I don't know if they understand how important weather is to their shot. So what makes the clouds and the weather so important? Steph, no weather, no clouds, no shot. You know, it's so important. That actually controls my life. Every day I get out of bed, it's always a different day. And when you wake up and you look at a photograph like this and you're standing there just in awe of these mountains like this with these beautiful colours through there, it's a really amazing feeling that I'm constantly striving to capture. You've got no idea of that, you know, that beautiful feeling you get actually when you press the shutter yeah. and just standing here and I want to bring, bring that back. Peter, thank you so much for That's that. Right. We look forward to more of your special reports. All right, love it, Steph.